Kanyo yes. kong iingit? Yes! Kahit lang nilalayo nyo yung sarapon, mainit pa rin yung tenga nyo. Yes. Hindi ka alam na yung tenga nyo ay crispy tenga na. <laughs> because, because, because of microwave. Because of microwave. No? Kahit nailayo nyo lang ganyan, umiinit pa rin tenga nyo. And this is what is yung hindi nyo alam is that microwave can penetrate the skull. So, pag nape-penetrate niya ang skull, pati ang brain nyo, affected. There are some studies that shows that when you use your cell phone for more than 20 minutes in a day, you suffer a degree of insomnia. Hirap kayo matulog. Ingari ba sa inyo yun? Now, I'm not saying cell phone is bad. Maganda ang cell phone kasi it's very convenient, high-tech na na yun. Without cell phone, nung panahon na maliit pa ako, nung binata pa ako, uuwi ako at tapagdala ako telegrama. Ha, uuwi ako bukas. Dumating na ako, yung telegrama ko, hindi pa dumadating. <laughs> Ngayon, cell phone is very convenient. No? It's very useful. Now, here, I would like to encourage you to use yung handset. Hindi ba pag bumibili kayo ng 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 headset I mean ng cellphone may kasamang headset yan so why not use it no inayo niyo yung source ng radiation from your brain okay now next ano pa we have cell sites of course kung may cellphone na nagre-receive meron nang babato na radiation di ba so the 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 bigger the cell site the the higher is its its microwave emission. Okay? So, ito lang dito na lang. Kikita na natin, no? Pag may cell site malapit sa inyong bahay, minsan, palagi kayo irritable. Hindi nyo napapansin mo. Na kahit minsan, yun, 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 yun. of course, depends on your personality, pero pag very common, you will notice that when there's cell site near your place, near your house, you will feel that you're always irritable. Okay? So, what else? Chemicals. Ano mga chemicals na nakaka-produce ng free radical? Of course, we are all chemicals. Even the atmosphere is made of chemicals. So, ano mga classic chemicals na ito? One is the industrial waste. Pansin nyo yan? Ang mesa may mga planta na tatapon ng indiscriminately ng mga dumi nila sa ilog lalo sa Pasig kaya yung Pasig sabi nga nila 15 years ago yung Pasig pwede papaliguan ang tinan nyo subukan nyo maligo sa Pasig di ba? kadiri na no? next we have also toxic exhaust saan galing itong toxic exhaust na ito? galing sa sa sakyan we have all kinds of free radical na pinuproduce doon we have what? nitrous oxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, these are free radical per se. Now, let me ask you, alam niyo ba, pag, halimbawa, meron kayong inaantay na prospect niya sa baba, tumayo kayo doon sa may tabi ng kalsada, for one minute. Now, if I asked you, alam niyo ba kung gaano karaming particles ng free radical ang na-absorb, na-inhale na niyo within that one minute? Do you know? Would you know? Can, can I ask somebody to give a guess? Walaan niyo daw. Ha? Sa isang minuto, ilan kaya? It will be no less than one million particles. Maliliit ito ha? We're not talking about something that you see. So small na hindi na natin nakikita ito. No? Kaya yung 1 million is an ordinary number for this kind of atmosphere. Pag nandun kayo sa EDSA, mas marami pa yun. Okay? Now, whatever comes into your nose goes to your lungs. So habang dinadaanan niya, you can imagine that this damages your tissue. Whatever goes to your lung goes to your blood. At dahil dito, pati yung mga ugat-ugat ninyo, nagiging marupok. So, pag naging marupok ang ugat, ano nangyayari? Mabilis siyang sumabok. Kaya nagiging, nagiging uh, common na na yun, yung aneurysm. Alam niyo ba, ano, ano ibig sabihin ang aneurysm? It is a condition kung saan yung ugat ninyo pumuputok inside. So, this is aneurysm. 
30 years ago, binira marinig ang aneurysm. But lately, dumadaming meron na rong kaso. Why? Because of free radical. Okay? Now, aside from that, of course, we have the power plant. Mga planta na nag emit na mga toxic gas. Okay? So, ganun rin ang nangyayari na i-inhale na rin. It, it is it is thrown out in the atmosphere at itong nasa atmosphere nahihinga natin at it comes in contact with our body okay next household chemicals sa bahay ninyo meron kayo nito ano ito? can you guess? very common to halos lahat kayo nito meron no, not Tygon Clorox Clorox. Sino mo lang Clorox sa bahay? Meron, di ba? Halos lahat meron, no? Saan yung ginagamit ng Clorox? Pang bleach. Pang paputi. But at the same time, you use it to clean the bathroom. Right? Nakasubo. Sino sa inyo nakaranas? I mean, I, I know, most of you nakaranas maglinis ng banyo. Right? Now, let me describe to you ano ang nararamdaman. Kunwari, right now, naglilinis tayo ng banyo. Habang nagpupunas ka ng ganyan, ang mata niyo mahapde. Yes. Ang inong niyo parang nasusunog. Yes. Ang, ang leeg niyo parang isumasakal. Yes. Ang dibdib niyo parang inakadagan. Yes. And did I describe it right? Yes. Tama ba yung description ko? Yes. Now, this is free radical directly attacking your tissue. Yung kanina, sinasabi natin, one million particle is minimal. Ito, this time, directly naka-expose kayo. Habang pinupulos nyo yung ganyan, pumupunta sa katawan ninyo. So, this is concentrated. Kaya nararamdaman nyo yung effect. Kaya, let me advise you na pag naglilinis kayo ng banyo, please ventilate the area. Marami sa inyo naglilinis ang banyo, pero nakakulong. Bakit yung kinakagawa yun? Magpapakamatay ba kayo? So, yun ang dapat yung gawin, no? Open and ventilate the area. Okay? Now, what is in Clorox that gives you this powerful free radical? Chlorine ang nandoon. Chlorine. Chlorine is a very, very powerful free radical. Kaya kita nyo, pag linagay nyo sa mansa, pumuputi ka agad. Kasi oxidizing ang nangyayari. Oxidation. It's very powerful oxidizing agent. In fact, it is being used sa water treatment to kill microorganism. Now, let me tell you this. Ang free radical actually is not good or bad. When it has other good purpose, like for instance, yung pag-disinfect ng gamit. No? Pinapatay niya mikrobyo, pinapatay niya virus. In fact, our body also produces free radical, lalo na sa mga mga immune system natin. Pag may pumasok na virus, nalapit ang, ang, ang ating T-cell, sasabog yun, pagsabog na magre-release ng free radical to kill the microorganism na nag i sa katawan natin. So it's really not really that bad. Pero pag sumobra, of course, may negative effect. Okay. Aside from household chemicals, ano pa? We have food. Ano yung food na ito? Bakit pati pagkain, maraming free radical? Yes, maraming free radical ang food. Preservatives, for instance. Sarap, no? <laughs> Sarap, no? Longonisa, kusino. Ano pa? Hot 